Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I'm going to dive into why you might still feel dehydrated, be really thirsty, even if you're drinking a ton of water. This can be something where you're like, am I doing the right thing here? Did I miss something? Um, am I not drinking enough water in small sips throughout the day? Is there a certain water total I have to get to? I get asked these questions quite a bit about liquid intake and if you're getting enough. Now, here are some things to keep in mind when we're talking about this overall, is that one, you're gonna get overall hydration here from several different sources, right? You can actually get hydration from your food. Yeah. So there are some foods that are going to actually be more hydrating, right? So if you're going to get hydration from food, there obviously, if you're like, what do you mean foods? Think of things like fruits, right? And then there's certain fruits like watermelon, cantaloupe, a lot of those pineapple have a lot more water in them, even tomatoes. Um, have a lot of liquid in them. And even if you sprinkle a little bit of salt on that, that's gonna help your body upload that hydration even better, right? And then of course, the other thing when we're talking about actual water intake, you wanna make sure that you're pairing it with some type of electrolyte, electrolyte. These are minerals, these are minerals, these are salts. Now you can add even just a little bit of salt into your water glass, great great. Um, that's, that's a fantastic way to do it. That's an easy way to do it. Um, and some people use like Himalayan salt or whatever, any type of salt will do, add it into there, right? You can also use electrolyte drinks, something like that. There's a ton of them out there that are really great. You just want to make sure you're using something that does not have artificial colors, flavors, sweeteners, anything like that. And Pinterest even has a ton of recipes. Pinterest has a ton of rep recipes for like natural Gatorades. That's what we're looking for. Now with getting electrolytes into your water, keep in mind that you really do wanna make sure that you are getting overall the right level. This does not mean that you have to drink electrolytes all day every day, right? But here's a general rule of thumb that I recommend um, overall when we're talking about hydration. If you are in the estrogen phase here, for that estrogen phase, you're gonna do one, well, let me, let me write it this way, because the water's on this side. We're gonna do two things of water per one thing of electrolyte. So whatever water bottle you have, whatever container you have, I oftentimes, I use mason jars. So at my desk over there right now, there's two mason jars. One is water, one is electrolytes. And I will make sure that I use two of the water before I have, um, you know, if I have a thing of water, a thing of electrolyte, and then a thing of water again, and then I would start over, right? Now this is a lot of liquid, right? This is usually my liquid throughout the day. I will have shakes that also are liquid. Um, you know, I eat fruit every day, so that's gonna add more hydration. If I feel I need more liquid after that, or I'm still thirsty, you know, beyond tea, or other things that I drink throughout the day, I'll just have more water. So I'm using, drinking at least one thing of electrolytes in my estrogen phase, at least one thing of electrolytes, at least one. During the progesterone phase though, I focus on a ratio of one to one, one to one. So one thing of one mason jar of water versus, and then one of electrolyte, and then one and then one. Why? Because when you're in the progesterone phase, your body actually uploads hydration differently. This is why oftentimes you will feel more thirsty or bloated before your period starts because you need more electrolyte. You need more mineral. There you go. That's an easy way to make sure that you are doing things in accordance with your hormonal cycle. Now, if you want more information on this, if you need more guidance in terms of how to eat for your hormones in your cycle, I have my book, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon. And then I also have The Female Menopause Solution. And I do talk about hydration and everything in these books. Beyond that, you know, make sure you're getting any other hormone testing, mineral testing done, vitamin testing done to make sure that your system is hydrated. But oftentimes just shifting like this, it makes a world of difference for you. So that's what I got for you today. Please leave me a comment if you have a question or don't hesitate to reach out to me personally. Send me an email at beth at drbethwesty.com if you need any more guidance.